even in the United States right now, uh, the Gulf is a disaster. It, it, it is, it's a global embarrassment. It should never have happened. And it's, and it's a, a great example of why we can no longer sustain being based on a petroleum economy. However, if you ask the average American, what's more important, increasing the economy or the disaster in the Gulf, everybody says work. So let them find work, and if there's an environmental and health benefit, that's the bonus. And it, it increases acceptance faster. So um, I'm not as tall as you guys, so you'll have to look and see from above if it's centered, or we can do it on the floor. Somewhat centered? I think so. OK. So as a slight caveat, um, uh, we have some pellets. This is tuned to a smaller diameter pellet, but we'll see. I might have to do some adjusting on the fly. Um, earlier, you saw me cutting this can. The principle of all Lucia stoves are the same, so it can be big or small. I will try and go faster since you're running out of time. Um, so. The idea is you heat the inner cylinder. That radiates out between the inner and the outer cylinder. The air between those two cylinders heats, and as it heats, it goes up. As it goes up, if you look at the bottom, and go ahead and peek, there's no space in the middle. It's flat, it's closed. You can confirm. All closed, thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, uh, you see, the, the two people who trust me less went to look. <laughs> uh, so, um, uh, as this is the same thing, but in very small version. So it's closed at the bottom. As the space between the outer wall and the inner wall heats, the air comes up. In, the, in this case, it comes through holes in the bottom here. I've just quickly made some holes on the outside. As that air comes up past these, it's just like when you blow in a bottle and you get the right? So these, that's the Bernoulli effect, and these then act like venturi, and they, rather than blow air in, they draw air out. So if, if I'm sucking like that and I'm closed on the bottom, where can the air come from? Because I can't, if I, it has to come from someplace, where would it come from? It has to, it can only come from the top. So the Lucia stoves function on the idea that you draw the gases out, and smoke is just not burnt fuel, you draw that out at less than the rate it takes to use all the oxygen in the air before it goes through the flame. Afterwards, all you have are leftover inert gases, which are nitrogen mostly. Very hot nitrogen then goes through that. And since there's no oxygen here, these can't ignite. And since they can't ignite, they release gas, which is called pyrolysis. The gas comes out, mixes with the air, and continues the process until you run out of volatiles. So, Essentially, that's a Lucia stove. So, um, no, <laughs> toys. Um, we have. Does it, what, does it need to be dry? Excellent question. So. Um, you should come to all the demonstrations, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, it does need to be dry. Up to 30% humidity is okay. Beyond 30% humidity, about half your energy is going to be used to get rid of the water. So you can either use the energy to make heat, food and electricity or whatever, or you can use it to get rid of water. So better to let it dry a little bit. Yeah, so, so, so to burn this? That won't work. However, if it's dry, if it's dry What's really neat, that now, uh, I mean, if, look, look at the almonds, right? If you just take some out, you can see it's an almond, right? Because what it does is it extracts all the gases and leaves the basic structure unchanged. So all the cells become little tiny reservoirs for microbes and water. So I've done it multiple times. People like this demonstration. I take a, a, a flower and I will take, take the gases out and then I have a completely black flower that weighs one-fifth of what it weighed before because I've taken everything else out but the structure is intact I'll need more pellets please
make everybody help here that way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I'll just plop that there. Now, I know it might be a disadvantage for you, but would you mind if I put this on the floor? Because I'm too short to look down. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm not Swedish sized. Okay? Uh, but I'm connected to a loop here. Uh, and here, now this is solid. So you'll see this burning in the beginning. When the cap is on, it starts burning just the gases. And so almost instantly, down below, most of the combustion will stop and you'll see a, a cap of flame form here, which starts turning blue quickly. Once that is fully formed, below there will be no gas, and therefore no more combustion, no more oxygen, so no more combustion. And at that point, we can even take things, as you were asking, if your leaf had been dry, we could have dropped that in, and you could watch the gas come out of it and go down. The other advantage is, since down below you have charcoal, charcoal is a great filter, Right, the same things that you use to filter this air that's coming through those funny vents uh, is a charcoal filter. So by having the gas go first through the charcoal and then come get combusted, you're cleaning a lot of the things out of it. So what was the temperature you need to get the process running without oxygen? Uh, it's a good question. It'll vary from biomass to biomass. Good okay. pyrolysis is taking place around 500 degrees centigrade. Right. So, shall we? Yes. Oh, and the, and the big bowl, so we can put that in. Easily. Yeah, this could is just paper. could be paper. Could. So do you get like 500 degrees in in between those two walls? No, no, no. That's just where the gas is passing. Okay. So now it's just to so, get it going. So, so you're using yeah. Like the normal, you know, and this is you can actually see the smoke now. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and stick your face in. Who wants to be brave and smell? And smell what pollution smells like. Mm. Yeah, right? Sure. Well, I really like this yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, I, I like the I like the smell too. But that's still <laughs> one one point six million deaths a year are because of that smell. So that makes it a little less appealing. He's he's there's a fire in the office. <laughs> this, what the, is that supposed to be here? <laughs> yeah, my my job is wonderful because I get to light fires in people's houses all the time. Yeah, it is. So, um, right now you can see puffs of black smoke coming. You can look down and you see it's the solid that is burning. If you hadn't looked already, this is your chance, because mm -hmm. we're about to stop that.